Uh, my name is Neofitus uh, Mitzingas. I work at the University of Essex. And the aim of today's presentation is to try and um, explain how actual research was used to identify and deal with some problematic situations in my language classrooms. Um, additionally, I would, like you to, I would like to show you how I tried to advance from actual research into practical research at the later stage in what led my uh, PhD investigation, um, uh, which I'm now uh, finishing, hopefully. Um, now, what I would like to say is that as a, as a language teacher in Cyprus, and while I was a language teacher in Cyprus, um, I was noticing that my students had a, a rather unconstructive and inadequate exposure to the, um, the culture of the target language. Sometimes they kept an unenthusiastic stance towards language learning, and they were quite demotivated. Um, additionally, I noticed that there was um, an inadequate use of authentic materials as well as exposure to the more authentic uses of language. And at that point, I started having a more critical stance towards my teaching as well what was actually introduced by the school itself. Uh, that is, the use of course books in isolation as the primary and only uh, teaching um, uh, material. Now, don't not get me wrong, course books are fantastic materials for teaching, and it's in fact what the students expect to have in their language programs. However, they sometimes include um, dialogues or language which is sanitized uh, and is not representative of um, authentic um, and real language use. And um, basically, the central idea was to inter intervene um, in this problematic situation and bring about changes or even better improvements. So I, I tried to introduce literature, and more specifically novels, uh, within our language learning classrooms to try and make it more, uh, let's say, interesting. Uh, why novels? All right, this is um, a frequent question. Because novels quite um, offer uh, linguistic as well as um, educational opportunities to the learners, um, which are not frequently exposed to. And um, basically, through action research, um, I tried to collect data um, via uh, questionnaires, surveys, uh, interviews, uh, field notes, uh, logs, etc. Um, and I tried to keep an account of, of the actual use of literature and novels in the classroom. How motivating it was, uh, how, um, let's say, encouraging it was, uh, and how they improved their performance. And my findings uh, show that there was a dramatic increase in participation, uh, which was triggered mainly by personal engagement uh, and through uh, the use of novels. Additionally, another thing that I found out is that novels enable students to engage both linguistically as well as emotionally. And that happened because they could uh, actually identify with the characters found in the novels and, and the protagonists. And um, uh, they could actually um, use the language skills and the EFL strategies right with, through with the use of literature and the novels. You can actually extract EFL strategies from literature, sorry, from language learning and put them into effect uh, while using the novels. Now, from that point, I decided to advance from action research to practical research and see whether the, the sample can be um, generalizable in a, on a larger scale. And therefore, what I try to do is to uh, validate the results from action research by doing um, a larger scale research. And this is what I have done uh, during my PhD. And some of the findings, because I don't want to talk um, about um, all of the findings here, some of the findings show that, um, well actually show, or uh, it could be very similar to the findings of actual research. Many of the things that I found out uh, can actually attribute it to the linguistic as well as ed educational um, opportunity and engagement of novels. So um, if you would like to hear more about this, please come and talk to me and um, I will provide some more information about it.